Washington's response to the situation has been to ban 20 senior Ukrainian officials from traveling to America. But as Artis Gana Chichikan reports, the U.S. may only be seeing one side of the story. President Obama knows what the Ukrainian leader should do. We hold the Ukrainian government primarily responsible for making sure that it is dealing with peaceful protesters in an appropriate way. President Obama has, however, made no suggestions on how Ukrainian authorities should deal with rioters torching the city, shooting, beating and throwing Molotov cocktails at police. Neither has he called for the so-called peaceful protesters to wait for elections to express their aspirations, as he would at home under different circumstances. You don't like a particular policy or a particular president? Then argue for your position. Go out there and win an election. European leaders don't seem to want to wait for elections either, all but calling for the Ukrainian president to step down. The Ukrainian authorities are about to lose all legitimacy. The current authorities in Ukraine need to make space for a transitional government of national unity and early elections in order to bring back the legitimacy of national authorities. Washington and Brussels are considering sanctions against Ukraine. The U.S. has already barred a number of Ukrainian officials from entering the country. Shouldn't there be sanctions against the opposition? Because they're the ones who are obviously defying democracy by torching the capital, as opposed to accepting the results of a legitimate election and working to challenge them uh, next, next time around. Washington may stand up for democracy in words. It's important that it is the people themselves uh, that make those decisions, and that's what the United States will continue to strive uh, uh, to achieve. But behind the scenes, U.S. officials are apparently trying to decide who should be in the Ukrainian government and who should not. So uh, I don't think Cleet should go into the government. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's a good idea. In terms of him not going into the government, just let him sort of stay out and do his political homework and stuff. It makes many wonder if bombarding the police with Molotov cocktails and shooting at them is also part of the opposition's, quote-unquote, homework in the name of democracy. Ganesh Chekhan, our team.